Hi, this is Neil here from Dirt Floor Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to cut some uh, gear teeth on my uh, gear shaper, a uh, gear cutter for the shaper. Uh, so without further ado, carefully over here you'll notice that this this gear is slowly moving across the rack which is turning this gear and this is very slowly moving the gear underneath the cutter as it moves across at the same time as it moves across underneath the cutter it's rotating it around Just about cut one gear there, a uh, one two, sorry. Now it's just simply a matter of Moving the table back for the start, which is about there, and indexing it around one tooth. Now I'm cutting 48 teeth on this gear, and I'm using an 18 pl hole plate, and I'm using moving 15 holes in an 18 tooth plate. Now, I'm not going to make this video about indexing because there's plenty of good indexing videos on YouTube and there's a few bad ones too. But what I have never seen on YouTube is an indexing video where they tell you to read the instructions. And if you read the instructions, they have a table with all the ratios in there and I'm using a, I'm doing a 48 tooth so it shows you that you use an 18 hole plate and fifth, you move 15 holes in an 18 hole plate so what I do is move it forward 15 holes put that in there move my sector arms back and we're ready to cut again. Now I've got a couple of, a, a bit of paper towel jammed in there. Now I just put a little bit of cutting fluid on there and it wicks down onto the tool. So here we go for a
successful, successful gear cutting job. What I might do is take that out and show you how that the gear is held on the door, on the arbor. I've just got this pull through uh, 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 drawbar here that comes right through the middle of the undo the drawbar, knock that out. And the gear is held on, I've got an International 40 taper and the gear is held on that. So all I do is undo that nut and we have a successful successful gear. Now I know you, some of you people might be interested in building something like this so I've got a little bit of a I'm going to give you a little bit of a... I've made this ruler and I call it the one table length ruler. So, and I've divided up into eight, eight equal parts. So if you want to build something like this, you can make one of these rulers for, the, for your, your shaper. Now this distance here is three eighths of a table length. The whole thing looks like it's about just under seven eighths of a table length. Or if we go from there to there, it's just over three quarters of a table length. The height is just under, under half a table length. And this looks like it's just over half a table length. <coughs> so that just gives you a bit of a rough idea about the dimensions of what you'd need to build. You need to make a bracket like this and bolt this onto the side of your shaper so that you don't have and you can bolt the rack bolts onto that. Now the gear ratio between this, this and this I'm going to let you armchair engineers work that out yourself. There is a mathematical formula to get this spinning to get this gear here to turn to get this gear here to turn at the right rotational speed you have to have the right size gears there, there I'm using a 60 tooth here and I can 